Norbert Mao made his way to parliament at 9.40 a.m. and proceeded to meet the closed vetting committee chaired by Speaker of Parliament Anita Among. <laughs> Mao was vetted and approved by Parliament's Appointments Committee as Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs. The office remained empty until recently when the Public Service Minister Muruli Mukasa was appointed caretaker. Mao spoke about the cooperation agreement he signed with President Museveni, saying it gives him an opportunity to meet the President on a quarterly basis to discuss matters of national importance. I was impressed by the quality of questions asked. Many times people expect personal questions. The Appointments Committee of Parliament took the opportunity to interrogate my key agenda. They wanted to know how, for instance, I would invigorate the National Consultative Forum of Political Parties, which is provided for under Article 71 of the Constitution of Uganda. And I was frank, I told them that that forum is financially crippled it is supposed to be co-chaired. The deputy chair is supposed to come from the main opposition party, but it looks like the agenda setting is limited to the ruling party. When you are a minister, it's your duty to advise the chief executive of the country and I will be able to do that. He also disclosed how the Memorandum of Understanding will enable him to sit on the National Security Council as an ex-officio to give advice on matters of human rights. I assured the committee that it is no longer necessary for me to go on radios and TV to shout about that because the cooperation agreement provides for a quarterly meeting between myself and the president of Uganda. I believe we will be able to review these files. I have also told the appointments committee that I'll request the appointing authority with the president of Uganda to allow me sit on the National Security Council to offer advice. The outspoken DP boss says his cooperation deal with NRM is premised on gearing peaceful presidential transition, national reconciliation, national dialogue, fighting corruption and constitutionalism. We have decided to invest in the areas which we believe in. Peaceful presidential transition, national reconciliation, fighting corruption, uh, an inclusive national dialogue and ensuring a rack of democratic constitutional reforms that empower citizens. That is the heart. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.